Alright guys, so hey, it's El Supersonic Q. I'm here at the park, a new location actually. I have not drawn at this park before. And we're going to get set up and start drawing Donkey Kong. So it's kind of warm outside. Uh, there's a lot of shade around though, so I can easily go just like underneath a tree or something if I get too warm. And this court is actually littered with drawings, so I, it's my duty to draw some good chalk on this court. So yeah, let's start doing that and uh, we'll check back in a little bit. Alright, so the head is done, and the hardest part about the head is that his fur requires three layers of chalk. First there's the base layer, which is like really light brown, and I have to go over it again with um, uh, some pastel chalk, which makes it darker, and then I gotta go over that with black, which makes it the darkest I can get it. Uh, it looks nice, but it takes a long time to do, and remember when I said it wasn't very hot outside? Yeah, um, it's, it's hot, actually. <laughs> being in the sun, the sun seems to have gone away for the moment, and it's probably been about a half an hour and I and I got the head down. It only took me one time to draw the entirety of the of the head. I don't show the outline on camera because I get too worried that I'm going to mess it up, um, but pretty good for not drawing Donkey Kong frequently at all. Uh, so I'm on to the body now, let's see how that goes. This court just got incredibly hot, don't even know how, but it was like, you know, pretty good. It wasn't wasn't too bad on my hands, and now I touch it and it's like, whoa, I'm getting a burn. So, uh, yeah, we're still going though. I don't even know what time it is, but uh, it has to have been at least another hour or so. It feels like that. It's probably been about, about an hour and a half. I kind of worked down uh, from Donkey Kong. I'm kind of doing his uh, right side now, and I'm going to do the left side after, but uh, I'm working my way down. So, uh, yeah.
All right, so we're probably about three hours into it, maybe a little more at this point. The sunglasses have come off, my plaid shirt has come off, and uh, I'm actually done with Donkey Kong. And uh, I'm going to start doing Diddy right now, and um, I think the whole height of uh, the heat of the day is kind of over. Right? It's probably way past noon, um, but there was a time where I just hit this wall and I'm just like, can't do it. But now my hands have kind of like regenerated. Uh, and I feel like I can just, you know, go at it again, rubbing probably 100 degree pavement, you know, so that's always great. And um, the sun kind of went away and I got more water, so should be pretty good for the time being. But let's get on to Diddy. We are in the final stretch, people. And I'm wicked tired of doing this. Just cause I am, oh my gosh. It, it just occurred to me that I've been down here all day, like I've literally watched the sun go from one side of the sky to the other. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do my final go around after. I just wanted to kind of do uh, one of these kind of little talking sessions because we're almost done. I think Diddy definitely enhances the picture. Uh, if it was just Donkey Kong, I don't think it would have been the same kind of epicness, but at the same time, I'm almost regretting drawing him because it's taken a lot longer than I thought, and um, the whole the whole point in drawing him was that I was going to make him kind of behind Donkey Kong, like off to the side, like, oh, you can't really see him, so I didn't have to color in all this stuff, and it turns out that I did that anyway. Probably do, like, I, I'd like to do a logo, because see, this is another problem too, is that Diddy is um, a lot lower than Donkey Kong, and I'm like, oh, well, he could be standing on a barrel or something, but like, I don't want to have to, like, draw a barrel. I kind of screwed up where Diddy was placed, but like I said, I, I wanted to do a whole scene. I, I mean, like, you know, I didn't just want to do one character. But at the same time, I wish I could have gotten Diddy a little smoother. But I think I think he actually enhances Don Kong too when I when I compare both of them. At this point, I just want to get done. I mean, really, I've been I've been out here for so long. I went through another water and I um, re replenished my sunblock once. I probably should have done that again, but oh well. With that said, people. I'm done, so let's take a look at this. Alright, so we got a far shot first. And to compare, there's my box of chalk and stuff and my tripod over there, so you can see it's really big. And in fact, here, check this out. There's like a pole over there, I think, that you can maybe see and compare it with. I don't know if that's even a good thing, or how about this basketball hoop? Just to know some of you guys wanted some comparison, so with the hoop, that's about how big it is. I mean that's like pretty big. So let's get ourselves a detailed look. Alright, so here's Donkey Kong. Um, the hardest part about Donkey Kong was um, I think trying to get that color of his fur because like I said I had to go over the same area 
three times. Imagine what that does to your hands. So that was pretty much the hardest part for Donkey Kong, and I got the pose down pretty good. Just wish there wasn't the basketball hoop shining, or casting a shadow right in the way, but... I'll get another shot of his face after I move down, but I got the tie and stuff. Um, Donkey Kong, that's Donkey Kong. He took, I think, about three hours to, to do. I got here at 11. I was a whopping two hours behind today. Um, I just want to get a really good shot of the face because I really like the face, and especially since I don't draw Donkey Kong like at all. To do this on my first try was pretty good. I mean, the Mario that I did last time, it took me like several tries to get that Mario, uh, to get the head how I wanted it. All right, now we'll move over here to Diddy. Um, so I think the hardest part about Diddy Aside from the fact that um, I was half dead when I was drawing it, um, the hardest part about him was, was just his position in relation to Donkey Kong. I think that was his hardest part because, again, I kind of screwed the positioning up. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was going to be. Um, but I tried my best with the shading and stuff. And I, he does look a little different than Donkey Kong in the sense that Donkey Kong, I feel like, is a little bit more pastel, and Diddy Kong has some thicker outline to him in certain areas. I don't really know why I couldn't get that exactly right. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I was, my hand just hurt so much. I, I really couldn't bear down, and I was, I subconsciously didn't realize that it wasn't bearing down as hard. Um, but that's Diddy Kong. I, I don't even know what time it actually is right now. Probably, probably is around three or three thirty. Uh, just one more, one more go at it. And the glare is back on my camera, so I can't really see. But um, yeah, I think you guys saw quite a bit of it, and I mean, I'm sure I can post pictures on my blog and stuff if I didn't get anything really good. But that, that was what I did today. Donkey Kong Country. So thanks for watching, guys. No Super Sonic Q. Until the next time. Finn, and I wish I had my sunglasses on. I turned the camera and I'm like, oh well, Finn.